good afternoon in my previous class i uh, i discussed about the basic definitions of analytical solid geometry which comes uh, for the study of the line the points the intersection of the lines the intersection of the points and then intersection of the planes and all these things which are basically depending on some fundamental definitions in my previous class as as you know that i had discussed about uh, the distance between two points in the space then followed by direction cosines then direction ratios then section formula we call it as a ratio formula or division formula and the next part of that uh, the relation between direction cosines we have also studied and next part of that we have to study whenever two lines in space are uh, intersecting then what is the angle in terms of the direction cosines given independently for two different lines the graph goes like this for the uh, representation of two lines in the space uh, from the three dimensional geometry that is one axis another axis and another axis this is the origin suppose i locate two points and then two lines i am making then i join these two points i call this as a straight line passing through two given points x1 y1 z1 then q x2 y2 z2 actually i am deriving today that is cos theta is equal to l1 l2 plus m1 m2 plus n1 n2 this is what the basic equation of two lines in space which makes the angle that is theta in between with the uh, with the two lines having the direction cosines l1 m1 n1 for op then we take a parallel line that is capital a b and we take another line that is c d having the direction cosines l1 m1 n1 for this line which is parallel line to op and parallel line to oq as l2 m2 and then n2 and obviously origin has the coordinates o with the 0 0 0 we have to find out this theta in terms of the cosine function that is sum of the products of the direction cosines let me give the brief derivation of this uh, uh, formula by uh, representing the direction cosines that means two lines two lines in space for example this is a blackboard yesterday i told you blackboard constitute this is y axis and this is x axis this region for the mathematical reference this region is supposed to be the plane we call it okay now the in this room this is a space as i told you that that is one plane this wall is another plane if you consider this ceiling where they meet at one point mutually perpendicular to each other now there are two lines starting from for example that point also you consider or this corner also you can consider or any corner bottom corner for example bottom corner if i consider then i will join these two lines like this join these two lines like this exactly the figure is drawn on the blackboard that is one point is p one point another point is q then i take for the top line or bottom line another parallel line which i had to line parallel that is represented with the uh, l1 m1 n1 as dc's first set of dc's and another set of dc's as l2 m2 n2 therefore this is the line this is the line which connects between two lines op and oq this op has one set of direction cosines and this oq has another set of directions then the angle between these two lines this one that is equal to theta so for that we have to give the derivation as cos theta will be uh, this one sum of the product of the direction cosines but it plays a major role in giving different results by the derivation of the standard formula okay now if i take uh, the uh, derivation as cos theta in terms of the direction cosines now if the first one first line takes 
if the first line takes the values L1, M1, N1 like X1, Y1, Z1 as coordinates, these values themselves as coordinates, then that is PQ we take from the figure whole square is equal to L2 minus L1 whole square plus M2 minus M1 whole square plus N2 minus N1 whole square. Simple distance formula I am taking that is between the two points that is P and Q next set of points minus of previous set of points. Now, if you expand this one and rearrange, I will skip one or, one or two steps. I hope you can understand if I uh, avoid the one or two steps here directly I can go to the last step should be if you expand the first bracket you are getting it as L1 square. If you expand the second bracket you are getting it as M1 square. I will I am go, going to group those terms with the suffix as 1 in the first bracket and plus so it is N1 square. Then if you take uh, another uh, term whole square like uh, L2 square plus M2 square plus N2 square minus in every bracket you will get it as 2 times of that is L1 L2 plus M1 M2 plus N1 N2. This is for PQ square. Uh, using simple distance formula that is next point minus uh, previous point x1, y1, z1 are proportional to that is L1, M1, N1 and x2, y2, z2 are proportional to the uh, second set of direction cosines. We call it call them as coordinates so that this result is possible. Then I can write it as 1 plus of 1 minus 2 times that is L1, L2 plus M1, M2 plus N1 into that is PQ square because in my previous class uh, I have derived some of the squares of the direction cosines is always unity. Therefore, this is the first set we are having that is 1 and second set we have 1. Therefore, summation gives us 2 minus 2 times L1, L2 plus M1, M2 plus N1, N2. This is for p q square simple formula I call it as equation 1. Now, I will have to give the derivation for this result in terms of cosine function. I will make use of the same figure that is O p q which happens to be the triangle like O p q then I will represent this one as side A this is side B and this is side C this is anyway the angle as theta by the cosine rule. By the cosine rule applied to this diagram I can have A square that means this side P Q square is equal to B square plus C square minus 2 B C should be cos A according to the standard formula, but here in place of A capital A we have the angle as theta I must represent as cos theta. Therefore, A square is equal to B square plus C square minus 2 B C cos theta right. What is B and what is C? Now, what is A? A is nothing but P Q square and B is nothing but O P square and C is nothing but O Q square minus 2 into O P into O Q into cos of theta. I will have to give this uh, calculated values for this O P square, O Q square and then O P and then O Q. So, that I can compare left side is P Q square from the equation 1 and I will have to make the comparison with the next equation that is P Q square from the simplification. Now, what is O P square? When O P square means already I have told you this line represents this line is having the direction cosines that is L 1 M 1 N 1 and this line has the direction cosines L 2 M 2 N 2 and already you have origin coordinates as 0 comma O 0 comma 0 comma 0. Then what is O P uh, O P square that means distance formula again for this you can apply L 1 minus 0 whole square plus M 1 minus 0 whole square plus N 1 minus 0 whole square giving the simplification as L 1 square plus M 1 square plus 
n1 square. This is again by the rule which we derived yesterday that value is equal to 1. Similarly, oq square directly I can write this one without any hesitation because that takes the same type of simplification l2 square plus m2 square plus n2 square is equal to 1. So, that I can represent in this formula otherwise in this step uh, in this step then I can write this op square means uh, sorry pq square I can write like this is equal to 1 square plus 1 square minus 2 into it is 1 multiplied by 1 should be cos theta. Then I can write it as 2 on the right side it is 2 times of cos theta this is p q square. Then I have p q square same type in the equation 1 if I name this step as equation 2 I have equation 1 like this that is p q square then 1 is equal to 2 I will compare therefore 2 minus 2 cos theta is equal to 2 minus 2 should be sum of the product of the DCs L1 L2 plus M1 L2 uh, M1 M2 plus N1 N2. This gives cancellation of this 2 also cancellation of this 2 also cancellation of this minus sign and finally, you will get the result what I require here that is L1 L2 plus M1 M2 plus N1 N2. This is the very important result which will be used for many purposes whenever we have in the space any two lines are intersecting then what is the angle between those two lines in general this one sum of the product of the direction cosines. Now, we will discuss varieties of results from this one like uh, three results I am going to explain from the general formula we call it as general formula this one. Now, if I if I consider the cases now those three cases will go like this I have two lines I have been given two lines. Now, from this formula we do not know what is the angle between these two lines. Now, already I had taken in the at the time of derivation these two lines we do not know this is the arbitrary angle. Suppose these two lines are perpendicular to each other like this when a line is perpendicular to the horizontal line then what happens to this formula what is the behavior of this formula and when the two lines are parallel like this uh, first one is moving in this direction second one is moving in this direction but both the lines are parallel then what is the mathematical condition we are going to impose with the help of this general formula I repeat this when whenever theta is equal to 90 degree that means the angle between two lines will be 90 degree one is one line is perpendicular to another line. So, when theta is equal to 0 these two lines are parallel in any direction in the space you can take either in, in any direction, but in the same uh, in the same direction both the lines we have to consider then we can uh, say that we can claim that those two lines are parallel. Now, I shall explain what are the what are, what are the mathematical uh, changes in the formula and how we are going to explain that one by uh, changing that uh, uh, cos theta in terms of the another trigonometric function that is sin theta because that will help us in order to com uh, convert or in order to compare when theta is equal to 0 that means when the two lines are parallel what is the angle uh, for from the same basic formula we have to uh, give the derivation. Now, I take it as a case 1 when theta is equal to 90 degree here two lines are perpendicular to each other 90 degree means we have cos theta means cos 90 degree is equal to cos 0 is 1 that is cos 90 is equal to 0 because the that varies between 0 and 1 therefore cos 90 is 0 then by that formula L1 L2 plus M1 M2 plus N1 N2 is equal to 0. This is one result which you are going to obtain that means whenever two lines are perpendicular to each other then sum of the product of the direction cosines is always 0 this is one case. Next case next case when theta is equal to 0 that is cos 0 is 1 
sum of the product of the direction cosines is equal to 1, but what will be the condition as I told you that two lines are parallel, then what are the behaviors of two sets of direction cosines. To explain that meaning, I take the help of uh, conversion from cos theta to the sine function. What is that? Cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta. Otherwise, sin square theta is equal to 1 minus it is cos square theta. Now, I take this one as 1 into 1 minus L1 L2 plus M1 M2 plus N1 N2. This is whole square. Left side should be sin square theta. Here sin square theta is equal to 1 minus cos square theta. For some convenience to explain the meaning, I take this 1 as 1 into 1 which makes no difference on my result minus of cos square theta already we have derived cos theta is equal to this value that should be whole square. Now, I replace this 1 by means of again direction cosines here I have taken 1 means uh, that should be L 1 square plus M 1 square plus N 1 square is equal to 1 and this will be another 1 I will take it as second set of direction cosines L 2 square plus M 2 square plus N 2 square. Therefore, I will make that replacement for sin square theta is equal to L 1 square plus M 1 square plus N 1 square into L 2 square plus M 2 square plus N 2 square and then minus minus L 1 L 2 plus M 1 M 2 plus N 1 N 2. According to these terms, I have replaced in place of 1 as sum of the uh, squares of the direction cosines is always unity. Right. What I am going to do here, if you release this one and rearrange, I can write it as L 1 M 2 minus L 2 M 1 whole square plus of M 1 N 2 minus of M 2 N 1 plus of N 1 L 2 minus of N 2 L 1 it is whole square for it is sin square theta. If you release this product and taking the help of this one you can rearrange the terms in this order whole square that means A minus B whole square A minus B whole square A minus B whole square. If you release that whatever the product gives you, you can see that verification. Now, uh, this can be written as uh, sigma in the very short form we write that should be L 1 M 2 minus L 2 M 1 it is whole square because the cyclic order goes like this after L M comes after M N comes then after N L comes. This is the cyclic order as we discussed in the vectors like uh, i j k j comes after i k comes after j then i comes after k likewise here also L M N. So, that I can write uh, including all the three meanings in one step that is under sigma notation should be it is sin square theta. Now, if I consider only sin theta is equal to sin theta is equal to plus minus plus minus square root of uh, sigma that should be L 1 M 2 square L 1 M 2 minus L 2 M 1 it should be whole square. This we can write this is the expression expression for sin theta using cos theta formula. Now, I claim the next meaning first meaning when theta is equal to 90 degree sum of the square sum of the product of the direction co, uh, cosines is 0. Here one important result I am going to explain uh, converting that cos theta in terms of sin theta. Anyway physically you know that whenever two lines as I have shown this fix like when two lines for this case the lines two lines are perpendicular. Now, for this case I am going to I am going to prove two lines are parallel and one line 
has disease L1, M1, N1 and another line has the disease L2, M2, N2. Physically you can see that these two lines are parallel. Obviously what you can think of uh, uh, representing the direction cosines that means one set of direction cosines for the first line are the same as another set of uh, direction cosines for the second line. That is mathematically we have to prove like this that is sin theta if theta is equal to 0 if theta is equal to 0 there uh, the condition uh, uh, will not be concluded in the physical meaning but because this is equal to 1 cos 0 is equal to 1 we can substitute but uh, 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 behavior of uh, uh, direction cosines between two sets will not be able to conclude but when you convert that cos function in terms of sin function you can conclude like this if theta is equal to 0 then we have sin 0 is equal to 0 obviously. Uh, sin 0 is equal to 0 instead of writing one or two steps I think you can uh, skip you can understand that is equal to 0 means you can uh, 0 is equal to this quantity plus minus you can remove and also square root sin also you can remove then I can get it as sigma L1 M2 minus L2 M1 should be whole square is equal to 0 then if you expand the sigma as usual uh, some of the three terms if you consider then if you consider the uh, three terms as already written here then this is equal to 0. This is equal to 0 means for sin, sin square theta here at theta is equal to 0 right. The same step which I am supposed to write from the sigma notation fine. What exactly this uh, step means means each term I can equate to 0 this term plus this term plus this term is equal to 0 means each term I must equate to 0. Suppose I take the simplification from uh, first term itself uh, let L1 M2 minus L2 M1 equal to 0. This gives L1 by L2 is equal to M1 by M2. This is the separation we have from the first bracket. Similarly, from the second bracket M1 are divided by M2 is equal to N1 by N2. Separation from the third bracket that should be N1, uh, N1 by N2 is equal to L1 by L2. If you observe from all the three, if you observe from all the three, can I write at the end like this? n1 by n2 this is the only expression which represents all the three meanings l1 by l2 is equal to m1 by m2 is equal to n1 by n1 by n2 because all of them are equal to each other now when all of them are equal to each other means we will equate this one to some constant k in this case l1 is equal to k into l2 m1 is equal to k into m1 uh, m2 and n1 is equal to k into that is uh, n2 k into n2 if you assume that k is equal to 1 then we have l1 is equal to l2 then m1 is equal to m2 and n1 is equal to n2 this is the condition uh, we expected when theta is equal to 0 two lines are parallel means their direction cosine values are same that means of our direction cosine for the first uh, line L1 will be same as direction cosine for the second line similarly other two values which are possible uh, by this uh, comparison. So this is uh, the case which we uh, which we are supposed to prove like uh, uh, whenever we have uh, two lines are parallel and two lines are perpendicular then another uh, uh, condition also we can see from this one in terms of direction ratios that means we have the formula for cos theta cos theta is equal to l1 l2 plus m1 m2 plus n1 n2 suppose those two lines in the di in the figure those two lines instead of direction cosines we have direction ratios as two sets of values those two sets of values will be like this one is a1 b1 c1 another is a2 b2 c2 then we have to express the equation for cos theta in terms of uh, uh, a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 
C2. For example, as I, as I mentioned that in the space these two lines having the uh, angle as theta then cos theta. So this line earlier uh, I have mentioned that L1 M1 N1 as direction cosines and this line I have mentioned that L2 M2 N2 instead the first line will have direction ratios, direction ratios as I told you that they are the proportional direction cosines, they are the another set of numericals, another set of constants which represent the positive direction of this line in the space, that is nothing but direction cosine uh, ratio definition, right. Uh, those numbers means A1, B1, C1, suppose I represent for the first line and second line A2, B2, C2, then if this is the angle as uh, uh, theta then cos theta is equal to uh, in terms of direction ratios instead of direction cosines you have to write. Therefore, if A1, B1, C1 or the DRs short form I write DRs of OP and A2, B2 and then C2 or DRs of OQ then, then cos theta will be derived because in the same fashion cos theta will be derived because already you know that uh, L1 uh, M, uh, L M N in terms of direction ratio same formula I am going to use that is A1 A2 plus B1 B2 plus C1 C2 divided by square root of that is A1 square plus B1 square plus C1 square into root of A2 square plus B2 square plus it is C2 square in terms of direction ratios. That means the formula which we have uh, in terms of uh, direction cosines that means direction ratios are different and direction cosines are different. So the uh, formula can be written uh, in, in place of LMN as ABC but here it is a product happens uh, some of the product of the direction ratios divided by this one because because L is equal to L is equal to uh, A divided by square root of A square plus B square plus it is C square. That means in place of L as first direction cosine for uh, direction cosine of the first line I can represent this one as A1 and this one as A1, this one as A1, B1 and then C1 so that this term comes. Therefore, this is the uh, result. Uh, for the angle between two lines in terms of direction ratios. Earlier formula which we derived that is the formula for angle between two lines in terms of direction cosines. Therefore, this formula also can be claimed for various values of theta and theta is equal to 0 uh, uh, sorry theta is equal to 90 degree as the first case already we have discussed that is cos 90 is equal to 0. Then whatever that result we have like uh, L1, L2 plus m1 m2 plus n1 n2 equal to 0 for cos 90. Similarly, here also this gives a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is equal to 0. So, this is all the discussion about uh, angle between two lines uh, in the space whenever first line has uh, uh, direction cosines l1 m1 n1 or direction ratios a1 b1 c1. Similarly, the second line we have uh, with the direction cosines L2, M2, N2 and uh, otherwise the direction ratios A to B to C2. So, these are all the discussions which we use maximum in our problems and another result which uh, uh, you, can, you can also write in terms of the tan theta that is tan theta is equal to it is sin theta by cos theta. Already you have taken sin theta formula and then cos theta formula either in terms of direction cosines you can write or in terms of direction ratios. Anyway, this is this is a small conversion you can represent the values of sin theta and cos theta. Now, the next discussion that is projection, that is the projection even condition for three points to be uh, collinear is nothing but whenever three points are given uh, uh, x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2 and x3, y3, z3 then according to that DCs are also given then the condition for collinearity will be x2 minus x1 by x3 minus x2 equal to y2 minus y1 divided by y3 minus y1 equal to z3 minus z2 minus z1 divided by z3 minus z1. That means some numericals are given the values must be equal to each other from the first simplification 
from uh, this one x 2 minus x 1 divided by x 3 minus x 2 whatever numerical value comes out uh, from the given uh, set of uh, points in terms of x will be in terms of y will be equal to in terms of z. So, this is the expression and condition for 3 concurrent lines to be coplanar, coplanar and then uh, the here uh, the uh, typing is with small mistake this should not be the matrix this should be the determinant you uh, understand this one L 1 M 1 N 1 in the first row L 2 M 2 N 2 in the second row and L 3 M 3 N 3 in the third row these values in the form of rows and columns uh, the elements should be kept uh, inside the uh, uh, symbol it is it should not be the matrix because it, uh, it is uh, typed as uh, matrix that is to be corrected uh, this should be the determinant actually determinant you know that that is L 1 m 1 n 1 in the first row and L 2 m 2 n 2 and L 3 m 3 n 3 this is equal to 0. Then to prove this as 0 uh, with this uh, matrix symbol as you know the difference between matrix and the determinant this determinant symbol if I put this uh, matrix like this then you cannot prove this because matrix cannot be simplified whereas determinant can be simplified but the condition is uh, given for this under the determinant these values must be equated to 0 so that I can simplify with the usual method L 1 into cross multiplication between 2 cross 3 minus M 1 into cross multiplication between you have to ignore the middle column and you have to ignore the first row that is a simplification already you know. Uh, I, I hope at your level like uh, in the from your previous knowledge how to simplify this determinant you know that uh, then it must be equated to 0 that means if the value comes to be 0 uh, when you put like this uh, for the 3 lines then the condition for 3 lines concurrent lines to be coplanar. Coplanar means uh, what we have uh, we have the plane uh, in the space plane in the space that means I have this plane for example in the space this is this is a plane right I will talk more about this one in the in my next chapter that is in another class but for the time being uh, this figure this uh, sorry this condition is to be proved these these are said to be that means these three points are said to be coplanar if this is the plane if I hold in the space I will locate one point here one point here one point here that means all the three points all the three points must be all the three points must be uh, lying on the same plane all the three points must be lying on the same plane we consider those three points are said to be coplanar all the three points must lie on the same plane for example this is another plane this is one plane in the space this is another plane in the space I claim that all the three points must either lie on this plane or all the three points must lie uh, on this plane not two points on one uh, one plane and one point on the other plane or vice versa but all the three points are must lying on the same plane then we call it as they are said to be coplanar points that means coplanar points means that determinant should be equated to 0 uh, calculation for the given values that determinant should be equated to the 0 fine the next uh, result after this one according to the fundamental uh, definitions in continuation of this this is the last result I am going to explain uh, the projection of one line on the other line any notations you can take the projection of one line on the other line. Now for example now for example you can easily see that you can easily see that the stick which I am holding the stick which I am holding exactly the shade of this is lying on the blackboard you can see that. I am moving right this is the shade right whatever the uh, object I have here it is a shade will be lying on this one. So, that I drop perpendicular from this end and this end on the board on the board we call this one as projection of this line this is already in one uh, continuous line a part of the time considering a part of the time considering the projection of this line which is lying on the board. So, that this this is called the projection this is the uh, shade and this is the original line. So, from the original line the shade is there I call it as a pro projection having the DCs 
because this line in the space having the DC is L M N that means DCs are nothing but cos alpha, cos beta and then cos gamma. This line from wherever you take makes how much angles with x axis, y axis and then z axis respectively L equal to cos alpha, M equal to cos beta and then N is equal to cos gamma. With those calculated values the shade which is exactly uh, I, I, I hope you can see that on the board the shade. So, that is nothing but the projection I will write in the form of a diagram for the shade which I explained just now. This is a three dimensional geometry then I take one line this is P Q then its impression its shade is lying on the line X O this is Y and then Z. So, this line has the DCs L M N and this point X 2 Y 2 Z 2 second point has the coordinates and the first point has the coordinates X 1 Y 1 Z 1. Here the projection of this line on another line on another line means this is the line in the space this is the line we call it as x axis. On the x axis the length a b proportional uh, length a b we call it as projection it is nothing but the magnitude. So, magnitude of this line in the form of projection lies on the x axis. So, projection of p q on the line x axis on the line x axis that is that is nothing but I consider uh, with the assumption that a b will be the projection then the projection of p q with d c s direction cosines l m n that is equal to that is equal to its derivation is not necessary at this level. So, that you can take it as sum of the product of uh, the direction of cosine and the displacement that goes like this L into x 2 minus x 1 plus m into y 2 minus y 1 plus n into it is z 2 minus z 1. This is the projection which will give you the calculation for magnitude because L m n are the numerical values and x 1 y 1 z 1 x 2 y 2 z 2 are also the numericals. If you replace uh, those uh, val given values in this equation you will get, a, get it as a magnitude which we call it as a projection. Finally, uh, you know, one more case from this one in terms of the direction ratios whenever a line passing through two given points two given points then the direction ratios of this line drs of this line drs of this line passing through two given points or a comma b comma c with respect to that that should be x 2 minus x 1 y 2 minus y 1 and z 2 minus z 1 exactly like uh, difference between next point minus previous point uh, what we used in the distance of formula. So, that till here uh, I have covered all the theoretical definitions with respect to the first chapter in this syllabus. First chapter in this syllabus means that is distance formula, division formula, direction cosines, direction ratios uh, till here this all these things will come in one chapter. So, that uh, projection formula angle between two lines up to here. We shall discuss few uh, examples, few problems to prove all these uh, results theoretical discussion so far uh, whatever we have taken then we can uh, uh, discuss on the uh, results on the plane. Now, the first problem first simple cases I will take those simple cases are whenever drs are given how to find out drs are given how to find out a uh, dc's and section use of section formula 
also I must go to the slide which contains the problems right find the ratio in which the line joining the points like this okay so before that I take simple examples whenever some values of uh, DCs are given how to find out DRs like find the DCs of a line when DRs of a line are 3 minus 4 comma 5. the simple result with the help of the derived formulas the simple result the relation between direction cosine and direction ratios we have a comma b are equivalent to 3 comma minus 4 comma 5 these are the direction ratio values also we have the relation between dc's and DRs as L is equal to A divided by that is square root of A1 square plus B1 square plus C1 square. According to this, A divided by it should be square root of sigma, it is A square, it is nothing but even uh, A1 square also otherwise a square plus b square plus c square because only one set of one set of values are given so this should be 3 divided by square root of that is 3 square plus minus 4 square plus it is 5 square that gives 3 divided by square root of it is 9 plus 16 plus 25 that should be 3 divided by square root of sum, summation gives us 50 that is you know, further you can simplify square root of 25 into 2 this gives 3 divided by 25 square root sign that is 5 should be root 2 and then this is equal to L. So, first value or uh, direction cosine when direction ratio values are given it will be like this similarly we can prove that m is equal to the same number in the numerator minus 4 divided by it is 5 root 2 and n is equal to 5 divided by should be 5 root 2. We have the uh, relation between direction cosine and the ratio like this then this last result will be giving 1 by root 2. This is one set of uh, uh, values which you calculated as you called them as a direction uh, cosines when direction ratio values are given. Let us see in the another situation uh, when direction cosines values are equal and unequal that means the statement of the problem may be like this statement of the problem find DCs of a line equally inclined equally inclined to the axis equally inclined to the axis here the problem which we mentioned here the find the ratio in which uh, the line joining the points is divided by the x y plane and also the coordinates of the uh, point of intersection now find the uh, with respect to that one dc's will have to be calculated in various forms because we will use those uh, uh, concepts in the next problem this is another problem find the dc's of a line equally inclined to the axis in the solution you have to write write the diagram and then represent a line suppose i take the line this is op x axis z axis and then y axis then direction cosines of a line already in the basic definition I told you that is this makes the angle alpha and this makes the angle beta and this makes the angle it is gamma therefore the line OP 
has L M N as DCs. What are those DCs? Is of O P R should be first one uh, that is L M N. Any anyway, notations are there? First one must be cos alpha. Second one should be cos beta, and third one should be cos of it is gamma. So, these three are the values we call them as DCs, but here the statement of the problem says it is equally inclined. Now, when I start that one from the mutually perpendicular to each other these three planes otherwise right handed screw system. From here I take the I take the straight line this one right. So, you can you can carefully com compare this line makes with this finger whatever the angle is the same angle makes with this finger and one more. So, all the with all these three fingers it makes the same angle otherwise if you uh, touch the corner here. So, angle with respect to ceiling angle with respect to this wall angle with respect to this wall will be same that is the statement of the problem. Then what are the uh, values of the DCs in such a situation will be that is cos alpha cos beta cos gamma implies uh, for equally inclined for equally inclined we have alpha equal to beta equal to gamma that means same angle if it is with 60 degree then next 60 degree next 60 degree total in all the three directions it must have the same angle therefore we have l is equal to cos alpha m is equal to cos alpha and n is also the cos alpha there is no question of beta and gamma that is cos alpha therefore we have to find out the values of l m n l square plus m square plus n square is equal to 1 therefore l equal to cos square alpha l equal to cos alpha means cos square alpha plus cos square alpha plus cos square alpha is equal to 1 according to the equation this should be cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equal to 1. But uh, according to this statement since it has the same angle we will write like this then 3 times cos square alpha is equal to 1 then cos alpha easily you can make out cos alpha is equal to plus minus 1 divided by square root of 3. So, 1 divided by square root of uh, 3 means then new values new values of DCs are L equal to L equal to cos alpha that means L equal to cos alpha is equal to plus minus 1 by root 3. So, M is equal to same thing it is cos alpha plus minus 1 by root 3 and N is also representing the same thing cos alpha that must be plus minus 1 divided by square root of 3. So, this is the opposite type of uh, statement in the previous one uh, angles were not equal in this one angles are equal. So, we will take another situation find the coordinates uh, there are two situations we have one is find the ratio and the other one is find the coordinates. In this problem find the ratio in which the line joining the points uh, these two is divided by x y plane. Uh, find the ratio means we have to use uh, the formula as alpha is uh, lambda is to 1 and when the ratio uh, ratio is given m is to n then find the coordinates of point of intersection. So, coordinates as x y z. So, those things and some other problems I shall cover in the next uh, uh, discussion. In the today's uh, lecture if you have any queries uh, I am ready to answer. Thank you.